What is up guys, we're downtown Toronto at Techno Gym HQ and today we're coming down to take a look at stuff for our clients. So we're taking a look at the Techno Gym Checkup, which is a new AI assessment program. It's body analysis, it's cognitive analysis, mobility, strength, cardiovascular, and it gives you a bio age. It's really recommended around retention, but also giving your members gamification and personalization. And I'm also here for a client that's building an amazing home gym. We're looking at the Techno Gym Bench, the new Excite run, and we're gonna be kind of interviewing, going through the process, and you guys are gonna get to follow along and learn a lot about this product. So if you're thinking about implementing personalization and gamification into your club. It's something you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. Techno Gym Checkup, let's check it out. Some people, it could be a life saver for them to keep them wanting to go past that 90 days. And that's really what I see the value of One Health Clubs with. Yeah. You 100% like have it right. It's yeah. that holistic view, not just like the tip of the iceberg, yeah. seeing the weights or basic measures. Yeah. That's exactly what the checkup does with a holistic all around view of the six different factors that we're able to measure. Okay. Of course, we do have a body measurement, but um, as I'm sure you know, as a health professional, you know the value of the mental wellness, cognitive sharpness, those attention, speed, memory, that all still plays, of course, into health. So that's one of the, one of the things that is definitely important on a whole scale. So yep. why don't we get started with a login. QR code pops up, you can scan it and it will access your account right away. Okay, so which test would you like to start at the beginning? You're already standing on the scale. Looks like you're ready for a body measurement. Yeah. Should we do that first? All right, so we'll go ahead and click body. All the tests are very user friendly. So there's a tutorial that walks you through how to use the machine, how to stand and how to prepare for the test. So to start, um, just make sure, of course, you have your socks off, no jewelry or lotion on the hands for a proper measurement. You'll wanna make sure you're grabbing the handles nice and tight so that your palms make contact with the silver pieces on the arms. So it's a nice visualization here of each um, body part, right, left, uh, arm and leg. So obviously this, the best approach is having <clears throat> one of our assessment specialists take someone through this. Definitely. But at some point in time, there could be a program where if someone wanted to check on themselves every three months, they could self-serve pretty easy on this as well, right? A hundred percent. It is really user-friendly. There are tutorials at the start of every single test, but ideally you do want a health professional to take somebody through these tests yep. because you'll get a full test result at the end with the profile and all the results. So it's helpful to have you know, a fitness trainer, a personal trainer, yep. somebody to go through the results together. We can now see a couple breakdowns of Kyle's test. So this can all be visualized on a report or also on the checkup itself. You can click into any of the scores and it also gives you a bit of a greater understanding of what it is that we're measuring here. So you've got skeletal muscle mass, total body water, total fat mass. This percentage you said yeah, was? probably spot on, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I was like 9.8 on the DEXA scan. Yeah. Right. We are closer, more compatible with what DEXA scan yeah. Um, yeah, measurements. Scan is our, it's our gold standard. Our gold standard. Yeah. yeah. So, Pretty awesome that you see your basal metabolic rates too. Yeah. Soft lean tissue, everything digitally right in front of you. Exactly. Even extracellular water, intracellular water, uh, and bone mineral content. So this score is a data, data pool that comes from other checkup assessments for males in, in Kyle's age category, um, and it ranks you based on that data. So it comes, one, it comes from other checkup tests, and it also comes from WHO standard. All right, fantastic. Why don't we do mobility next, Kyle? You'll be asked to turn to the side and lift your arms up and down. Now change sides, turning to your left. Extend your arms up and behind your head as far as you can. Now repeat the same movement again. So why don't we do one more and then we'll take a look into your results and side to side differences. Your neck mobility will be measured during this test. You will be asked to flex your neck to the right and left. Look straight ahead at the screen.
screen the whole time. Put your hands on your hips. Hold for three seconds. Gathering that baseline. Keep your head straight. Flex your neck to the right as far as you can and hold for three seconds. Now we can click into your results and it's going to visualize it here on the right to see differences right to left. So I can go ahead and click on neck mobility to start and it looks like you have a little bit more mobility on the left than the right. I can compare left to right and see progress over time as you take more and more tests to see your improvements. And we've got three different tests. So the first one is brain speed. So how fast you're able to react to stimuli and targets. Then attention, so being able to focus on two different targets at the same time. And memory, so being able to memorize patterns. And the machine's going to learn your range of motion from the top right down to the pull in. All right, now give it your all without getting hurt. That's it. Go Kyle. <laughs> Almost 109. For the cardio, there are actually going to be two different ways to take the cardio test. The one you see right now is because of the current software version that is updated by the end of this week to now have another test option without equipment, okay. which is very exciting. So. Of course, you can get on the equipment. I'll show you the live interface and how we can start the test there. Um, but just for your information, there is a software update that's coming by early next week where it's going to be a squat test in a similar with a heart rate monitor, exactly. So For the cardio, you mean you can just get them repping out to see exactly. where they're, before so they gas it'll, out? Yeah, it'll create a target on your chest in the same way that the balance test did, and it'll get you on a timed uh, pace to do the, the squats. For somebody that's in the gym and you're already strong and you've got pretty good cardio and you're pretty lean, you can kind of just self-serve yourself and get checkups and there's huge value in that just to see, like I wanted to lose five pounds of body fat for summer, how much muscle did I lose in that process, right? The other side of it is somebody comes in and they're really just a beginner and you take them through this assessment, it's so easy for them to understand that like, wow, I'm actually five years older than what my age is. That's hugely motivating and they're probably gonna improve so quickly. At 90 days, it's like you could put in the marketing that you know, you're signing up now, you just gotta, we wanna check you in 90 days and you can keep kind of motivating them to say we're 90 days out from that checkup. If you go to our facility that has the checkup connected, you're able to have AI recommended exercises. So these are just suggestions um, on how you can improve based on the data measured from the checkups. And then this, I think this it has a really nice visualization of everything, particularly on the report. So you're able to see um, right to left arm leg differences as well, uh, weight distribution. This goes a little bit deeper than what you can see on the checkup. So could you do a hybrid where say somebody was like, I wanna work with a personal trainer, but I can only see them you know, two times a week, but I wanna work out four days a week and I'm gonna be here for a year. Could you do like a program where the train, you, it, creates the program, the trainer takes them through a couple days a week and then they have a couple days they do on their own. So 37% post COVID have been taken away from personal trainers in club and people are hiring coaches online because it's so easy to like, they're using Trainerize to, to deliver it or whatever type of app macro fit and they're coming in and they're taking a program and it's easy or they can't afford personal training. You know, they get these programs and they sign in and they're part of a community and the program's already pre-created. I think that's something that clubs could really capitalize on. 